Hey guys, I've noticed something weird. When you apply for a job, if we think about it from the employer's point of view for a second, you're flooded by a sea of CVs. But most of them look pretty samey, just these bland yellow CVs. There are a few dim yellows who have no chance of getting the job. Maybe the candidate is just vastly underqualified. But there are a few candidates who are this vibrant, radiant yellow that draws the eye of the recruiter. When I put in an application for certain types of data science jobs, even if they aren't the highest paying, let's say 25 to 35k, I'm just another the name in a pile of CVs. The chances of me getting any sort of response at all are fairly low. But for these certain types of jobs, even if they are higher paying like 50k, 60k plus, I have been able to get to the first interview stage at a ridiculous rate. This is because for those jobs, I am one of those bright, luminescent yellows. And by applying for these jobs where you are this radiant yellow, you're able to pop much more and draw the eye of the recruiter and increase your odds of getting that job. There are different ways to pop, but this video will be focusing on maximizing the unfair advantage that you already have, particularly if you're from a non-technical background. The unfair advantage that you have is your domain knowledge. I've touched on it before, but by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what it is and how it can elevate you as a candidate. But let's first define domain knowledge. It is simply a deep understanding of the field to which you'll be applying your data science skills. Let's use a metaphorical example to solidify this by stepping outside of the data world for a second. Data science is just a skill set that is used to achieve a goal. Just like being able to write, for example, is a skill set. But being able to write alone won't make you hyper valuable, but instead it is what you use that writing ability for. Let's dig deeper into this example for a second. If you were to decide to be a financial journalist, it would require you to know how to write, but also a deep understanding of financial markets so that you can write intelligently to your audience. If you went to Stephen King and said, hey, I hear you can write, starting tomorrow, you're going to be the head financial journalist for the New York Times. He'll be like, yeah, I can write, but not that type of writing. I don't really know the finance industry like that. Data science is exactly the same. Just switch out the tool and the goal that you're trying to achieve with that tool. This has already been proven to be true in my career. I have two main domains, marketing, which I work in, and sports science, which I studied for my undergrad. Whenever I apply to a job to do with digital marketing, I'm beginning to become one of those brighter and brighter tiles with every passing week that I spend in my current job. But if there is a job requiring a sports science focused data scientist, I am a luminous tile because I have a real edge as there aren't many data scientists with a strong sports science background that can take up roles like this. Whenever I apply for a job like that, I don't have the exact percentage but I am usually pretty confident of at least getting to the first interview stage. And to further solidify this, I've only been headhunted on LinkedIn twice, and both times were by companies who are in one of my two domains. And with the rise of AI, domain knowledge is only getting more and more important, as I covered here in my previous video with Dave. We still gotta, you gotta remember that it's, it's much more about the, like the interpretation and making it specific for for example the company you're working for and the problem at hand and really using your your expert knowledge your domain knowledge to to bridge that gap basically and that is where we as data analysts data scientists really can add value to to a business and just like processing the data and getting some statistics statistics and creating a plot that is part of our work of course but these tools, these new tools will, I guess, ha just help you to do that faster. So yeah, yeah. you'll just be able to do your work more effectively and more efficiently. And then it's still up to you, to the experts, to get the conclusions basically out of your findings and communicate that to key stakeholders. And that won't change for a while. But why do employers care about domain knowledge at all? When you've got domain expertise, it means that you have some knowledge of the industry, so they don't have to explain every single little thing to you. You know what are commonly occurring problems in your industry and why it's important to answer this with data. You also understand the jargon used and the nuances that are difficult to directly teach. Closely tied to the last point is data interpretation. Because you know what is going on, these aren't just random numbers and data points when you look at them. You know what they translate to in the real world, which aspects of it are worth exploring further and what is probably just a dead end. Maybe most importantly, if you do run some data model and you get some funny looking results, you are able to spot that much more quickly because you realize that these results just don't make sense. With domain knowledge, you're not just navigating the data, you're feeling it. It's the difference between wandering in a forest and knowing 
knowing the best trails to go through. Communication is perhaps the most overlooked skill in data science, but it is crucial, not just internally within your team, but specifically with external clients. Knowing the domain knowledge means that you're speaking the language of your audience and really resonating with them. You're not just throwing numbers at them or technical jargon. You're translating the data into stories that matter to them. It's about bridging the gap between data and real world implications and making your insights both understandable and actionable. There are plenty of other reasons, but this is just a primer. If you want to dig deeper in how to stand out as a data scientist in your job hunt, check out this video right here. If you're new to the channel, I'm Data Nash, documenting my journey from being a data newbie to one day being elite. If that sounds good, hit like, hit subscribe, and join me for the next video. Oh, and check out my newsletter and my Instagram for more insights that may not be on this channel.